Sunday, November 19th, 2006, the Homestead Miami Speedway. Green flag goes in the air, and the Ford 400 is underway. On the break as they head for turn number one, a good start for Casey Kane. He's out front all by himself. Long gone is Casey Kane by three car lengths. He'll leave the battle behind him for second place. Kyle Busch to the inside. On the outside, Scott Riggs. gets the advantage off the outside of turn two. He'll grab the second spot off the end of the back straightaway. But here comes a hard charging Kyle Busch. Back to the inside, trying to race for that second spot. And two cars are in the wall on the back stretch. Bobby Labonte now slides up nose first into the outside wall. Contact with another vehicle, T-boning him in the passenger side door as those two cars slide to the end of the back straightaway. Kurt Busch and that other vehicle pinned up against the outside retaining wall. Back to Mike Bagley. Kurt Busch made contact with the outside wall on the back straightaway, Joe. Bobby Labonte in that contact as well. The Cheerios Betty Crocker dodge into the outside wall, nose first. And Kurt Busch just shoving him down the back straightaway. Those two cars have locked together. Kurt has left the accident scene at the end of the back stretch. Now Bobby Labonte's dodge sits crossways as safety crews are on the scene tending to his wreck race car. Trouble in turn two. He is up and in the wall hard this time. Whatever damage there was before, it's doubled because Kyle Busch has just side slapped the outside retaining wall. He coasts down the bank. He keeps the car under control, but heavy damage on the right side of the Kellogg Chevrolet. Looked like just a one car incident over there in turns one and two. It brings out the yellow flag for the fourth time this afternoon. Let's go back over to turn two. All by himself, Barney. And you, you can easily guess that that first bout with the wall might have been something in the front end or perhaps cut the right front tire down because when he got to turn number one, it just wasn't turning for anything. Went to the outside, slapped the wall, and came to right inside of that Chevrolet combo and his way toward the roof. Makes it three in a row at Homestead Miami Speedway and does the sweep for four 